Hey guys, I hope you are well. Today I am here to do a different kind of video and I'm going to be doing a wardrobe tour or a closet tour or a whatever you call this thing tour. Basically I have a lot of people asking me about my clothes and like where I get things and what I have in my wardrobe I guess. Like people are always like, you must have so many clothes and I'm like, yeah, I, I think I do. Quick disclaimer before I start this video, everything in my wardrobe obviously I purchased with my own money. A lot of it I get from charity shops or thrift stores or vintage stores um, and I do, you know, do the occasional um, shop. <laughs> like I really like H&M, I like New Look, um, obviously Boohoo, but yeah, I, a lot of the stuff I own, probably most of the stuff I own is charity shop brought, which I think is great because um, obviously it's like recycling and I am all, I'm totally up for getting really nice cool vintage style clothes and giving to charity in the process so that is why I love charity shopping and I am hoping to do a video on my tips and tricks for thrifting at some point but we will get around to that and right now wardrobe tour. We start with my wardrobe, here it is. Um, so yeah, I'm maybe just gonna start with this little section here because this is my gorgeous black fur coat. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a video before, but I love it. It is the best purchase I've ever made. It was from a charity shop again. And um, quite a funny story. I think I might have said the story before, but basically I saw a girl wearing one like this in um, like a L London train station years ago now when I was going home like on the tube and stuff and I was like I need one of them so I've searched high and low ever since that day and I eventually came across one in a thrift shop just where I'm living down at uni and I was like I need you in my life you are mine like I didn't even think twice I brought it on the spot it's just the most gorgeous thing and literally I think it must be the most worn item of clothing I have ever brought like I've never worn a coat or something this much. It's just so good and it keeps me so so warm because I'm a massive wimp when it comes to the cold. Then I just have these two scarves. Um, I have loads of scarves. I've got a few different ones that are just like hidden away or like back at home. Um, but here, oh yeah obviously, so this is my wardrobe at uni. So I have another wardrobe back home which is also really full. I have so many clothes it's ridiculous but these are kind of like obviously my best or favourite clothes because I brought them down here with me. So I really should start chucking away some of the things back home, but um, I list a lot of things on my Depop quite regularly as well, so um, I'll leave the link for that down below. Um, yeah, go check that out because, like I say, I get rid of a lot of stuff because I have a lot of stuff and need to keep going through it. <laughs> this is my newest one. It's a grey and white, like, pinstriped scarf. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It was from Boohoo, I think. Yeah, Boohoo. And um, I just really, really like it. And the quality is so lovely. It feels like so like a Topshop or a Zara scarf definitely not boohoo obviously i'm not saying the boohoo quality is bad but i think it just feels a lot better than what you kind of expect i guess from boohoo for the price you know what i mean i think it was like eight pound or something ridiculous and then this one is just a um multicolored like checked one i guess and um, i brought this around christmas time because i wanted a new scarf and then it's funny actually because i got um some scarves for christmas but yeah it's just a um, pink blue and red check which i thought was oh and white but i thought it was really weird because you don't normally mix like pink with red i wouldn't have normally like picked something that had pink and red in it because i just don't like that color combination but i think this is a really nice combination i'm not really sure but it's kind of like the um is it called like buccal or whatever material that is, but it's like fluffy. It's really nice, I love these. Okay, so now, in we go. Dun, 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 dun. So, here we have my wardrobe, my collection, my stash of materials, items. So here we have it, this is my wardrobe. This is obviously all the things hanging and then I've got stuff in drawers, but I think I'm just really gonna talk about the stuff that's um, hanging because the things in the drawers are kind of just like dance kit and like t-shirty bits and bobs so this is kind of like my main fashion section I guess the rest is just like miscellaneous so where do we start I am going to start here in this section actually I'll start here in this section I'm going to turn around so first of all I have my like pink puffer I love this it's absolutely gorgeous um I had a pink puffer uh year couple couple of years ago now um for christmas my birthday one of them and i loved it but um the lining started to rip so i end up getting a new one which is this one and this one has a hood on it as well which is fabulous the materials that really um waterproof material as well so literally the water just runs off it <laughs> i have this coat here which is my 
cream, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a vintagey fur kind of fur lined coat. I love that one. Um, I have another like teddy bear coat here, and then I've got some things hanging down here which are as for sale on my Depop. So um, yeah, that's just where I store them. I have this, which is a um, like fur poncho thing, but like you sleep in it, and so it's got like these big fur like bat wing arms, and then it's got like a hood. It's really nice. It's from Tesco, I think, over kind of like November time, I think. So it was about eighteen pound. I don't know if they still do it or what, but yeah. Um, and then I've got this denim jacket here, which is. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got all like embellishment and mate different materials on it. This is like suede, velvety materials. It's really nice. And then I'll just get it off and show you actually. But yeah, so then like the back has a detailing on it. And then like I say, it's all down the sides. And I just thought it was really unique. Um, I like certain fashion items. So like I really liked the denim jacket trend, but I always have to have it like slightly different. So I thought this was a really good sofa alternative. I also have this one which I purchased um, a couple of weeks ago maybe in I don't know what kind of pink you'd call this like a fuchsia fuchsia pink I think and I, I love it so much it's kind of like the teddy bear fur like lion in um, and it was the colour obviously that just made me go oh my god I love it okay moving on next I've just got this little like Nike um, jumper it's just like a cropped hoodie They're really nice but I just don't I don't really wear it that much then I've just got kind of like some basic um, casual clothing like I've got I've got this lovely grey jumpsuit which is just from Boohoo I think I've probably posted it in a haul um, about a year ago and it's just really comfortable to throw on it's the kind of things I like to throw on on a day where I'm not feeling very well and I can't really be bothered to like put together an outfit or if we're having like a long day of rehearsals and I just want to be comfy all day that's my kind of thing just some t-shirts I've just got this one here that says um, bite me on the back I think and it, I, I basically brought this because look, it's a massive white t-shirt, but it has a little, like, can you see? It has a little tiny dog on the front and that was completely my reason to buy it. But it's so massive that it kind of looks a bit like something like you wear in hospital. Oh, this, this isn't meant to be there. This is meant to be in my jumper section. I love this jumper so much. I got it years ago. It really reminds me of something that a like receptionist would wear. It's kind of um, this weird like flecked um, blue and black material jumper with this cute little white collar i just think it's a really lovely jumper um probably one of the like oldest thrift old probably one of the oldest thrifted items in my wardrobe and i got this absolute years ago okay then we have this i absolutely love this this has got to be one of my favorite um thrift shop purchases ever it's this gorgeous um like teal colored button down shirt dress in uh, what would you call that, suede velvety material? The colour does not show up half as good on camera. Let me try this side. Yeah, that's maybe a bit better. So it's this gorgeous bright teal. I love it so much. I saw it and I was like, that is amazing. And I tried it on and it was exactly how I wanted it to be. And I just, um, I've wore it so much over Christmas time and stuff because it's just so beautiful. I love it. Then I've just got a few like jacket bits. I've just got this like checked fleece. Again, charity shop and um, this. Adidas um, baby blue tracksuit top jacket zip up thing. It's how amazing is that? It's just gorgeous and so current, like so current. And this is what I love about charity shops is like people will sell on clothes they've not worn, and namely like older people will sell on clothes that they've not worn in years that they think like aren't in fashion anymore or don't suit them anymore or fit them anymore and it like it just goes around in circles like we get it because it's back in fashion for us it's crazy like my dad was wearing this fleece like jumper the other day and I was like I love that can I borrow it and like it's funny because if I wore that I'd look probably like really vintagey you know modern teenager and stuff and on my dad it's just like a fleece jumper do you know what I mean so it's funny how fashion kind of works and how it comes around in circles this is in the wrong place also. I love this, to this day I love this. And this was the first jumper I ever wore to university. On my first day of university, I was like, I'm gonna go in with a bang, I'm gonna wear this. So it's this, again, like a tealy green um, jumper. Oh, I forgot how much I love this, I've not worn it in ages. And it's got like cats on the front. So this little cat's got its head inside a box. This little cat is uh, trying to climb in a box. This little cat is in a box with his head peeping out. And it's just got spots and dots all over it. and. I don't know, I got an charity shop for £1 about two, three years ago and 
I just love it. I went through a proper like oversized jumpers stage where I just lived in oversized jumpers and um, I kind of like drifted away from it a bit and now I'm like back at it because it's great to just throw on a massive jumper like I say it, I say it all the time, over my dance kit or something. Okay, then I have this, which I also adore, a charity shop again, and it's a um, leopard print, like, fleece zip up. Um, I just think it's so funky, and I love wearing it with, like, black tights and black boots, and it just looks so kind of, like, grungy and edgy and just, like, mm, it's just delicious. Okay, so we've just got, um, I've got this lovely, long, like, literally, kind of, like, ankle length, um, fluffy pink roll neck jumper and um, just look like this if you can see the roll neck there but um i really like that the only thing it is is it looks a bit like night gown ish it kind of reminds me of like could the christmas carol like what scrooge wears when he like texts him to the past and the future and that kind of thing whatever it is I can't even remember that and I don't even know if he wears something like that but do you see what I mean like an old fashioned nightgown where you'd wear like a little hat thing with it and stuff yeah so anyway I've got this lovely pink um cardigan jacket with the buttons um yeah really nice perfect baby pink and it's like cable knit so it's really pretty and then um this which is pink cropped jumper and it's really funny because it has a like cross stitched um pelican I think that is playing golf which is not something you see every day <laughs> um, and I got this from a vintage shop back home <clears throat> then this um, lovely, I need to wash it, it's got a lipstick mark on it, baby pink jumper, just a really basic um, sweater and it's kind of like a Barbie baby pink I think but I love, I love it, I love the colour, I love baby pink so much. And then I got this which is my, my favourite recent purchase, um, I only got this the other day from Boohoo and it's this um, ruffled um, and like ruffled sleeve, ruffled, ruffled peplumy stomach like cropped jumper and I just love it so much and I had lots of compliments on it and it's, it's just gorgeous and it's a really kind of um like dusty dirty pink but I really like it and um, I think it's really girly and feminine like really on trend with the ruffles I saw a lot of stuff like this with like ruffles along the chest on the shoulders and um, like loads of stuff like that on basically every shop website at the moment it's just totally in fashion i got this which is another fairly recent charity shop purchase oh there's two jumpers under here there's another jumper yeah this it's a um baby pink roll neck i've been looking for a baby pink roll neck um like cable knit jumper for quite a while in charity shops um and i thought this one was gorgeous so i picked it up it, it, i don't know if you can tell but it has um little like sequins on it as well and um yeah again just a lovely baby pink colour matches my baby pink section. Then I've just got this like little um, red Ralph Lauren, um, what do you call it, like long sleeve top, I'm not really sure. Red's like really not my colour but I really liked the um, American like logo for the polo jeans section of Ralph Lauren. I have this which is again just a little like knitted jumper and it's got like flowers all along the neckline. I think it's really cute and it's again just one I like to chuck on with like a pair of jeans and it's rather pearly. I have this which is really random and really cute but it's a cropped like corally orangey jumper and it's got like German Shepherds all over it. I'm not sure if you see that. I think they're German Shepherds. To me they look like German Shepherds. A long yellow um, sweater that says Charleston on it but just thought it was nice. Charity shop again. I'll show you that. I'll show you that. This is two items. I need to put these on different hangers. So this is a um, baby blue hoodie, I guess. Um, charity shop again with these little um, drawstring bits with like the metal bits on the end. It's just nice and like I said, it's got a hood. Like a nice fluffy throw on kind of thing. I have this again, which probably belongs in the pink section, but it's a striped um, like v neck uh, oversized knit. I have the pink jumper, this one in baby blue as well. I brought this one originally um, and then I saw the pink one and I was like, oh my god, so I now have to get the pink one as well. So yeah, this is literally just exactly the same but in baby blue. Another one of the first um, purchases I made from a charity shop, actually probably like 
one of the very first, maybe even the first, but it's this like navy blue sweater. I love this to this day, it's still one of my favourite pieces. And it says the sweater shop on it in like rainbow writing. This is another fairly recent purchase and I lived in it all over Christmas and winter and like the holiday season. And it's this um, purple, don't know what this kind of material is. What is this kind of material? Is it this, this that buccal stuff again? I'm not really sure, but it's um, a lilac-y purple striped ribbed um, knit jumper. Again, I love it with a pair of jeans and like a pair of black jeans and black boots and my black fur coat. Mm, delicious. This I got from a vintage shop. It's a forest, no not forest, khaki green um, jumper with a like high neck and um, this kind of, I don't even know, like, I don't know what would design would you call that like it's I think it's like flowers and stuff but it's like the purple and the black and I think the purple with the green is something you would never think of like putting together but I just love the contrast I think it's really gorgeous um, and this I used to always pair with some tights and like um what what would you call them like you know like the low dock martins like that kind of style of shoe I just used to always lift that outfit so I need to whack that out again actually I haven't done that in a while Another one of Sam's favourites, I thinks, I thinks, I thinks. Another one of Sam's favourites, I thinks, is um, this roll neck grey jumper. I have a lot of roll, ne roll necks, I love them. Um, and it's just like a ribbed material, again, with like black jeans and black boots. It's just like a really basic outfit that makes you look really put together, but I love this one. I got this from um, She Inside. Yeah, I think it's called She In now, but it was called She Inside when I got this. And it's just like a high necked um, grey jumper. Again, one to chuck on easily. Just this oversized um, black jumper. You can see a little bit closer, kind of like material. It's just got a v-neck and it's got like the ribs down it. I really like this. I just wanted a black jumper to be able to throw on easily. I got this um, a week ago maybe, and it's a cropped black roll neck jumper. Jesus, but it looks so nice. The only thing I would say, it's from Boohoo, but when I washed it the first time, it just completely lost like its lovely fluffiness and also a little bit of its, of its shape. Like, it was quite tight around the waist and now it's quite loose and it was so soft and it just kind of lost that, but I don't know if that was maybe because I washed it wrong because I just literally shove everything on automatic and don't really take too much care, which I probably should, but I don't. Then we move on to this little section here, which is like shirts. Um, I used to wear shirts a lot of the time. I used to literally live in like oversized check shirts, but I don't too much anymore, she says, wearing a check shirt today. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you what ones I have in here. I have a few, but like I, pr I pretty much never wear them really, which is bad, but they're just there like in case I need them. This is the first one. I remember loving this when I first got it and it was from um, New Look when I used to work there. And it was actually from the plus size range, yeah, the plus size range. And it's in size 20, but I wore it as like an oversized shirt dress. It's just white with this kind of like um, almost checked pattern. And then it's just got like the little um, rolly up, holdy button bits on the sleeve. I just don't really wear it. I think there's a lot of stuff in here that I see and I'm like, why don't I wear that? Like, I could style that so well. I just, I don't ever think about it. Then I have this, which I love, and I wore so much in kind of like September time last year, but it's um, a floral print, again, shirt. Really, really lovely style on this. I think it's so dainty and just really elegant. I'm really girly and cute, but also quite like vintagey and like boyish um, because it's like oversized and stuff. But yeah, really nice. It was rented from Marks and Spencer, so the quality is nice. I got this, uh, which I actually hate. I really dislike it. I don't know why it's here. I don't know why I have it. Sorry, that sounds really horrible. I don't mean to be mean to you, but it's um, this stripy kind of um, like blush and cream um, oversized shirt. I got it from TK Maxx, um, but I've literally, I think I might have worn it once, if that, and I just, I don't know, I just don't really like it. Um, to be fair, I'll, I'll probably put this up on my Depop if you're interested, because I just don't like it. And I paid quite a bit for it, but I think at the time I was like, oh, I really like it. And it was at the time when that was like my style, like oversized shirts. And now I'm like, it's just not. So yeah, I don't know why I've brought this down here with me. I don't even remember bringing it down here with me. I don't even remember ever seeing it in the wardrobe, which is a bit weird. Then I have this, which is another thing that I think um, is going to be listed on my Depop. I've not put it on there yet, but I think I probably will list it. Um, it's a like patterned, um, short-sleeved shirt. That's literally all I can really say. And the pattern's gorgeous. It's almost like an 
oil slick kind of feel, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, yeah, I just bought it from a vintage shop, but then never wore it, and um, I don't. I don't know, like right now it doesn't really fit in that much with my style. Then there's this, which I love so much. Um, it's, again, an oversized shirt, but it's like definitely my favourite one. And it's got this kind of like, I don't know, I always think of it as like almost like palm tree print, or like leaves or something, I'm not really sure, but it's like a dark um, navy with purples and yellows and whites. And I just thought it was really cool. And I wore this to a party, like oversized with heels and like just with tights. And it just looks really cute, like I really, I really enjoyed that outfit. Similarly with this one, but I don't think I've, I've worn it once, I think maybe. Um, but it's this like striped um, dark blue shirt. I really do like this one actually. Um, but the only thing is, is, I think when you wear stripes, it sometimes makes like, when you look at it, it makes your eyes go funny. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me because I think I actually do have like dodgy eyes. I think it's really nice and I wore it with a red lip and that looked really sophisticated, like, yeah. So I need to, I need to wear this more because it's really nice. This is just an old shirt that again was from a vintage shop. I got it from a vintage shop in Manchester, but I can't remember the name of the vintage shop. It's a really good vintage shop and it's in the Northern Quarter. But yeah, I got it from there with a, like, a few different ones. I think it was like three for £20 or something like that, so I got three. But this was one of them and um, yeah, it's, I guess, again, a weird combination of colours because it's like the greeny colour like a turquoise colour with red and purple and it's just like such a weird combination but really nice. Then I have this skirt which I kind of like um, upcycled myself because it was a size like 14 or something and I like sewed the sides in and it's just um, a button down skirt and it's really nice but I'm like saving it for the summer because I think it will look really cute then. But yeah, with I'm, I'm thinking with like some, some trainers. I'm thinking with like some trainers and like a cropped like t-shirt or something like that like proper bringing it into like modern times. I don't know, but I really like that look of like a cute dress, but with trainers, I don't know why, but I like that vibe. Then I just have here two bodycon skirts, um, just a plain black one and a like foresty green one. New look and Primark, I believe. These are my two favorite skirts. So I have this one, which was more recent and it's like a dog tooth black and gray. Um, like skater skirt, I think that's what you call them. And then this one, which is just a plain gray one. This is my favorite skirt. I wear this all the time. Um, it was only from Primark like three years ago, probably, but I, I live in it. I, I get so much wear out of it. It's kind of the main thing I go to, but I love skirts with like thick black tights and boots in the winter. I don't know, I just, I think it also depends on where my style is. If I'm like at that point where I love wearing skirts, and it just so happens to be winter, then I'm gonna wear it. And then over summer, I might prefer wearing, I don't know, bloody jeans or mom jeans or something like that, you know, so. I have this little like pinky, peachy um, zip up leather skirt, um, which I got from Boohoo, again, not too long ago. And it's just really nice for like nights out and stuff. So that's why that's here. And then I have these, so like um, Palazzo pants, but they're more, I don't know, I'd say they're more like loungy, but then again, I've worn these to a nightclub before. That sounds really weird, but they look so different off to what they look like on. So um, yeah, they're just like, almost like flared. Um, these ones are obviously blue, like a royal blue, which is so not normally my color, but I love them. And I just wore this um, on a night out paired with a black like wrap um, over a plungy top and some um, heels. And then I've worn it on like a casual day with like a white t-shirt tucked in. Like it's so versatile and I love them so much. And then um, these were ones were a from a charity shop and I um, sewed them to fit me because they were like a 12 and then I sewed them to fit like a six. So literally, I loved, I loved doing that because I see something and I'll be like, I really want that, but it's too big for me. So then I'll just like tuck it in a few inches. I'm, I'm totally not like a seamstress or anything like that. I literally just use like a needle and thread, but um, I find it quite easy, especially on certain materials. Like I'd never try it on denim or anything like that. But when it's just like quite a thin material like that, it's quite easy to do. And then I also got a pair in black, which were just from Boohoo because I was living in them ones and I thought, oh, I'd like some in another color. And black was obviously a bit more practical than blue um, because more seems to go with black. Um, these are just some more trousers. I've just got like some khaki trousers there, which again, I'm like trying to get around to sewing to fit me. And then just some more of them Palazzo pants, but in brown, but these, um, these came in a co-ord um, and they're more for like, I'd say going out and I won't really wear them in the day. Then I've just got some of these um, like collot pants. These ones were from Pull and Bear and they're like a, 
Um, I could, I'd say like a, like a teddy bear brown, I don't know why, but yeah, um, really nice ones, but again, more summery or like night out-y. Again, I have another pair which are the like metallic -y pair, and these were like all over Topshop and like all the fashion places, but, but mine were actually from Wallace, so there you go. I have these which I haven't actually worn, they're probably going to go on my Depop, but they're like um, velour, velvety, grey joggers with um, like almost like the Adidas stripes down the side. They're really nice, I just haven't worn them because I literally have like an Adidas pair that are grey with the stripes. Like, and I just, I don't know, I just haven't worn these. These were like an impulse buy because they were velvety. I have these which are pretty new and they're black, um, like peg leg trousers with gold stars all over them. I love these. I've only worn them once, but I love them and the fit of them is lovely. They're from Boohoo. These are my newest pair of jeans um, and they're from New Look, but they're from the 915 generation section, which is the kids section. And they're just black mum jeans. I'd wanted some black mum jeans for the longest time and I could never find any that fit me in the right places because mum jeans, like, they'll fit me on the waist but then they'll be like skinny jeans on the rest of the leg and it's like, what? Or they won't get over my bum or they'll be too big on my waist but fit perfectly everywhere else. It's literally like the daily struggle. And I found these and they were in the sale in the kids section and I was like, yep, you fit me lovely. You're coming home and they're an age 13. So, you know, I always say that if you're like a six or an eight, like look at the kids stuff because the sizes are so not like true to what you'd imagine them to be so like a size 13 to 14 is literally like an eight like it's funny because kids are obviously bigger nowadays like so yeah then i've just got my black joni jeans which you don't need to see because they're just black joni jeans and then these um are my other pair of mum jeans i've got so many pairs of mum jeans but like most of them are home i've got like ripped ones back home but these are just um some what is that these are just like plain blue ones in a gorgeous like washed vintage blue um yeah not much i can say about them they're high rise ones of course and they're from new look again but these are like normal um like the core clothing so like adults so they're just a size eight then i have a few places quite a few places so um these ones these few are from boohoo so this one's a like plain black ribbed one um which i like to just be able to wear for like singing assessments and stuff when we have to wear black and then I've got one in the same but in um, a pinky colour and then I've got a similar one but without like the ribbed in oh Jesus in a dark grey and then I've got a short sleeve one in brown I love these play suits for the summer and um, they're really useful to just throw on and stuff and really airy because like the legs are really wide and stuff so they keep you quite cool even though some of them are long sweet long sweet long sleeved they keep you cool and then this um my friend chloe actually gave to me she didn't want it anymore this was from new look i do believe and it's um just a uh, short sleeved like floral one i wore this to the airport last year when i went to ibiza and it's in my ibiza um like travel vlog so if you're observant you might have noticed that <laughs> I have this, which I love, but I've yet to really find an occasion besides for when we do like cabaret workshops at uni. Um, but it's just like a red um, jumper with like fur all around it. I don't know, I just, I was like, feathers, guys. I was like, come on, I've got to have that. So I brought it, but it's not like completely appropriate to wear all the time. So I've just not really worn it. If it was in baby pink, I think I'd wear it all the time. It's the same thing again of it's like red and I don't wear red really. Then I just have like a few going out tops. So I just have this like bodysuit, which is like a cowl neck. I have this um, most balloon sleeved um, silver and black patterned top. I just think it's like proper old school. Um, I've not actually worn it yet though. I have this, which I really like. And it's so, I think it's probably quite quiet, but it's a um, like brown velvet um, top with like flared sleeves. You can't tell that right now, but when it's on the sleeves like flared. And then they've got like, it's got like this flower print all over it and it kind of like changes colours in different lights. Now these right here are my most recent and favourite purchases. So first of all we've got this which is a um, like thin lilac, really quite lightweight roll neck jumper and I love this. And this was inspired to be brought by this one which I got from Primark and I, I've lived in it completely. It's like um, a dark grey with like white stripes and yeah can you make that out yeah and um i've just literally lived in this and so having this when i went into h&m i was wearing this and i saw this one and i was like hey that looks really similar so i think it's going to have the same kind of fit and i tried it on and i was like yeah i love it i think it's the fit that i like i've been liking like more tighter tops recently 
don't know why, I just think they look really flattering. Um, and yeah, so this one I got from H&M only last weekend when Sam was here and I wore it on uh, our Valentine's night out, which we celebrated on the Saturday because Valentine's Day was on a Tuesday. And obviously I'm down here and he's back home so he can only come see me at the weekends because of work. So we celebrated our Valentine's Day on the Saturday before, so that was nice. But yeah, I wore that with um, this, this grey gray skirt. It was really cute. Um, and this one, like I said, was from Primark um, probably a month or so ago. And then I got this from H&M in London when I went with my sister. And um, I don't know if I showed it in the vlog, actually. I don't think I did, but it's just this like cute um, crop like top t-shirt. I don't know what you'd say, long sleeve. Um, but it's like three quarter sleeves. And it says Babe Squad on it. And I'm normally like a proper, like, I, I find writing on tops really cringy like a lot of the time um but i just i don't know i just thought this one was cute and i liked the color even though i don't wear colors like this and i think it actually quite suits me so um so yes yeah, so i wear this and i love it i've been living in it and again it's like that tight feel it's just i think it's really flattering then i've just got some more going out top so i've just got this um cow neck one which is from new look yeah and it's um just like that in a stony beige color got this black wrap over one which I mentioned wearing with the um, Palazzo pants. So just a plain white t-shirt. This which I really love and it's just a um, stripy t-shirt but it has like a dip neck so it's a little bit booby so it's like it looks really plain and basic but it's a, like a little bit feminine, a little bit sexy, a little bit I don't know what the word is but I really like it. I think it's really cute. got this years ago from Primark. This which I haven't actually worn yet and it's another one of them wrap over tops but it's white but it's quite thin like I think I got it from eBay um, but it's really thin so I kind of need to find something to wear underneath it because even if you wear like a white bra or a nude bra you can still kind of see it so I think basically I'm going to save it till the summer and then like wear it with a like lacy bralette or something like that because I do think it's really nice Then I've just got these two bodysuits this one constantly falls off the hanger because it's got a really like wide neck but it's just a um, white striped bodysuit from New Look this one is a black and white striped long sleeve bodysuit. Really like these two. Really simple, really basic to just throw on. And I have this, which again my friend Chloe gave me along with that play suit. And it's just one of them like lace up um, tops, but it's like really sheer. It's kind of like mesh. And um, yeah, I really like it. I've worn this over like a little black crop top um, on a night out, tucked it into like a skirt or something. And it's a really, really nice look. Then I have this, which I am dying for summer again, so I can wear it's this. Um, oh my god, what would you call it? Like adorable, um, old style um, top in this like baby blue with like the ruffle bits down here, like the scalloped hems, the really cute little like peplumy um, sleeves, and then it's like laced in the middle. If you can see, I think I showed this in a thrift haul, but I really love this. It's so feminine and just like adorable but um it's just definitely like a summer piece so i'm really looking forward to the summer because i'm gonna wrap this out so many times because i love it so much i got this the other day which is just a um lilac like top and it just has like these cute little ties on the sleeves and i thought it would be nice again like summer it's kind of like a jumper material but it's quite thin so it's nice and i've worn this with the gray skirt again really cute it's so like clueless 90s kind of style this, which I love, I got from a charity shop um, a few weeks ago, and it's just a like um, stony, peachy, like really light peachy kind of colour, um, long sleeve top. <laughs> not really much I can say, and it's like v-necked as well, which I like. I really like that style at the moment. Last but not least, I got this the other day in H&M, and it's just a like blue plunge dress with like a, a split. I don't know, I just really liked the colour, and I thought I could. Um, make use of it on a special occasion because sometimes I'll come, have a special occasion I'll be like I've got nothing to wear so if I see something I really like then I'll buy it for that occasion so yeah oh just for the record as well this um long sleeve here I got uh, this shirt here I got from Depop and this um what would you call it dungaree dress I guess I just got from a charity shop a few weeks ago and I love them both and I think this combination is really cute as well I really hope you enjoyed this video guys I really enjoyed filming it um, I really like doing fashion-y stuff because it's kind of like my favourite thing more so than like makeup or beauty or anything like that I love fashion so um, I'm really happy that I've been able to like share this with you and I hope some of you that were like wondering what my wardrobe was like and my clothes and stuff will now have a little bit of an insight obviously it all looks quite basic just like on my hangers but it's when you pair it together and stuff that it starts to look really cool and there's just so many combinations that I'm still finding them all myself so 
yes subscribe if you want to be around here come and join the family you're more than welcome here any good time i hope you've had a lovely week guys and i will see you next sunday bye